Hi, you see my photo bomber back there. Good morning. Um, I just want to come on and share a few success stories about Cards for Causes that I have done. Larissa wrote out her stories and um, I just want to share a video for those of you who are more video watchers. So I've done a few small ones. My kids uh, wanted to raise money to send Bibles to kids in Africa. So they did their own Cards for a Cause for that. And also so they could um, a couple Christmases ago, so they could purchase some animals through the World Vision Catalog for kids in Africa and soccer balls. That was one of their big things. Um, I've done one with a preschool and she was just a guest at one of my online parties and she owns and runs a daycare. So she did one in the fall and was thrilled that her small daycare sold 18 boxes and raised that money. It was so simple for them. It was great. Uh, last spring, I did a cheer squad and they sold 78 boxes. 30 girls did. Um, that was super fun. And then just a month ago, I had my biggest one ever with my elementary school that I'm in ESR for. So just make sure if you're doing a school or a library or something like that, that the school is listed by you. That's not listed by anyone else. Um, and they have about 220 kids in the elementary school. So what we did is I talked with my friend who's on the PTA and we made a low goal for them and a high goal. And I offered some incentives like an ice cream party for the classroom and then like a drawing for a box of fidgets because apparently that's what these kids are into right now. Um, they had one little boy that sold 18 boxes. Um, but my low goal was if 25% of the kids participated and sold two boxes each, that's all we ask, two boxes. One for mom and dad to buy, one for a grandparent to buy. Piece of cake, right? Um, because if you make the goal low, it's really, kids are more likely to participate. And anyone who sold that much would be in the drawing for that fidget box if they reach their goal. Um, so that would have been 110 boxes if 25% of the kids hit that. And they did. They hit that. Um, the high goal was if 50% of the kids participated and sold two boxes each. Now, I go by the final box count. It doesn't matter how many kids actually participated. Um, so that would be 220 boxes. We didn't quite get there, but they sold 146 boxes, which was over $4,000 in sales credit for me. And it was also almost two thousand dollars for their school they were overwhelmed and so thrilled so it was really neat for me to be able to make a difference in my community um to make some extra cash and to also get the great sales credit um, it was super fun if you have any questions please ask us in the comments and i can either do a video later to answer your questions or just answer them right in the comments